Okay, let's get started on our very first external style sheet. Now, take a look at my webpage here. It looks different than the last time that you saw it. It's got a pink background. The heading is red. And the rest of the text is navy blue. I did that with an external style sheet. Let's have a look at our source code. Here's the source code for the web page itself. And I've highlighted the link tag so we can refresh our memory that the file we associated this with was song.css. That's the name of our external style sheet. And we just happen to have that loaded into our documents drawer. So I'm going to click on it. And here it is. Now, the, in an external style sheet, what you do is list out each HTML element you want to apply some styling to. And then you list out those styles within curly brackets. So here's my element. Here's my opening curly bracket that says, okay, anything after this and before the closing curly bracket is applied to the body. So what am I applying to the body? I'm changing the background color to pink. And the syntax is background hyphen color colon pink. Now, just to prove that this code is working, we're going to change that color to beige. So when we reload our web page, we should see the background switch from pink to beige. The next style that I've got here is color colon navy. That means that any text within the body of my web page will be navy blue in color. Unless I override the, this default setting. So then we come in to the next styling and I'm applying this styling to the H1 heading tag. And I've got two bits of styling in my curly brackets. The first one is font hyphen size colon 32 point. This will enlarge the character size of my text. The second style is color colon red. So I'm going to have a red heading. Well, let's change that. Let's go to dark orange. And that's another change that we'll see. Now, one of the things that I noticed in reviewing the last podcast was the text of my song lyrics was kind of small. It was difficult to read. And so I've associated font size colon 14 point to enlarge the text within any paragraph. Okay? Let's save this out. Okay? And let's refresh our page. Now remember, in our style sheet, we changed this background color to beige and our heading color to dark orange. Let's see what happens. And there you go. My YouTube is still loading. And that's something we have no control over. It'll be there in a minute. Hopefully less. 
Ah, here we go. So now, you've seen how to do an external style sheet. We've seen how to link the web page to the external style sheet, and you've seen how to control some of the style features in the, the style sheet. So go ahead and give it a try, and I'll be back shortly.